Hello viewers, this is Salala uh, in the extreme south of Oman. Uh, it's very popular location for the people of Dubai since it's very convenient and uh, Omanis do not require any prior visa from uh, UE residents. So one can easily go there in summer vacations. Uh, why I'm going specific for summer vacations as uh, this area is greener and uh, it's like fantastic to visit only in this season in uh, June end of June you can say July August and September <coughs> I hear a lot of things about Salala about the border control and I wanted to clarify one thing that uh, they let you to go even on expired vehicles the vehicles that that have their registration expired but there is a limitation to it they don't let you throughout the like three months or four months it's just one month period after the expiry of your registration card so if you're going after expiry of like two months or three months don't go there they'll stop you it is less likely that they stop you but they they can stop you anytime and it happened with me once uh, with my cousin uh, uh, his plan was ruined and uh, he was not allowed to enter into Oman he was given the visa he was given everything but uh, upon showing the insurance they asked for the registration card and later on they refused uh, utterly they refused that they can't let you uh, to take this vehicle along with you though you can enter yourself and uh, you can go so he returned back to UAE and that's it because uh, here in UAE people say that why why you have not registered the car why don't you renew your car online and this and that the issues are not simply online the issues are that you need to make up the vehicle there are so many issues at times in the vehicle that that are to be fixed that we don't pay attention to usually like maybe an indicator broken or light is not working or a fog light is not working or there are some scratches on your front bumper or rear bumper and these are the issues so uh, you have to pay something there and uh, it's not simple first of all crashing your plan <laughs> all of a sudden and secondly uh, there are certain fines in UA you know uh, traffic violations or any other thing so in this way you at least have to spend two three thousand of uh, dirham before you go for the re renewal of the car uh, plus the parts and other things that might not be working fine so these are the issues that's why he was supposed to come back and he planned later on and then he went so i would suggest people that not to go there uh, without your registration card if your registration card is expired one month is fine one month in ua is fine as well they don't they don't bother even the police here they let you arrive and uh, god forbid if you're into any accident or anything they allow you uh, similar is the issue with the omani police omani border control they allow you for one month but after that one month they will not let you in no matter whatever like uh, you're with family or this and that they won't listen to any excuse and they will refuse you and you you obviously because in that border in uh, border between UAE and Oman uh, there are a few pro public transport vehicles and there are few fixed rigid border crossings so you won't be able to go into Oman and obviously without a car going to for vacations is useless so practically it will ruin your plan I will advise you not to go there.